about least six years yep. ago yep. Uh, when you were covering the Menendez brothers trial you could not have imagined that you would now be sitting here talking about Menudo's connection to that infamous trial and what impact that might have on the conviction of Eric and Lyle Menendez. This sounds really bizarre, but a former member of Menudo uh, says that he was molested by Jose Menendez, the father of Lyle and Eric Menendez. And during the trial, one of the key moments, both in the original trial, which ended up in a hung jury, and the second trial where they were convicted, um, particularly Eric Menendez said that his dad, Jose Menendez, uh, molested him over a period of years. Lyle Menendez said the same thing, but Eric Menendez's tearful testimony just riveted the court, but did not convince the jury that it was A, true, and B, even if it was justification for murdering uh, Jose and Kitty Menendez. So now that uh, you have this new uh, testimony, essentially not in court yet, uh, but new testimony, what does that actually do does it do anything, change anything, for the Menendez brothers? Is it possible that the verdict could be set aside many, many years later um, and they could get a new trial? That's the question uh, that a lot of people are asking right now. So joining us to discuss that is um, a veteran criminal defense lawyer, Alan Jackson, uh, who obviously, if there is going to be a change here, Alan would understand how it's going to happen. Alan, welcome to TMZ Live. Hey, Alan. Hi. Nice to see you. So, Alan, um, you obviously know what happened here, that there are somebody that seems to, in some way, back up uh, the brother's story. What's your reaction to it? Look, I mean, a defense attorney for the, the Menendez brothers are going to do everything that they possibly can uh, and, and, and go down every avenue they possibly can to try to... to unravel uh the the ultimate conviction that, that occurred or convictions that occurred back in the the mid to late 90s uh 96 97. uh is this a, is there a glimmer of hope uh for the menendez brothers i think there's a glimmer i think it's a long shot uh by by any by anybody's analysis uh they're going to first file a a writ petition that writ petition is going to come in, in the form of a habeas corpus petition then the next hurdle that they have to cross is they have to get a judge to hold a hearing on that petition that hearing has to result in that judge making a determination that there is number one new evidence uh that wasn't known to the defense at the time or wasn't uh the defense didn't have the ability to know that at the time and that that new evidence is more likely than not that's the standard to result in a different verdict it doesn't have to be an acquittal but a different verdict or a different outcome for those jurors that's a very very high hurdle uh to get over let's say that it's convincing now that Jose Menendez did actually molest one or both kids. That doesn't necessarily equate to justification for what they did, right? No, it's still, you know, look, it, whether it happened or not, whether Jose did or didn't do what they're claiming he did, the question then becomes, it, does that rise to a level of, of self-defense? That's what they tried to, to argue. The, the self-defense claim uh, was either imperfect or perfect self-defense. If it's perfect self-defense, that means they're acquitted uh, because they had justification for the killing. If it's imperfect self-defense, that means that the murder charge would be reduced to manslaughter, and that's probably what they're looking for, is some collateral information that they can bestow upon a judge to say, hey, give us a new trial, because had we known this information back in the day, we would have propounded that information. That very well could have led a, a reasonable jury to determine that they had a, a an honest but unreasonable uh, belief that they needed to use self-defense, and that's why they killed Jose. They've got a problem with Kitty, though. Oh, yeah. And that was one of the big issues that that David Kahn, the prosecutor back in the second trial that secured the convictions, uh, very talented prosecutor, uh, that was one of the arguments that he made. Look, you, you know what was in the mind of Lyle and Eric Menendez because of what they did to Kitty. They put the shotgun to her head and shot her. It was a contact wound. At least the, the coroner's office suggested that it was a contact wound against Kitty. So there's still a lot of, of ground to cover for the Menendez uh, brothers uh, to, to secure some sort of either an acquittal or reduced verdict that would result in them ever breathing free air again. Alan, I don't know the truth about Roy's story, but does that look, does that have uh, any impact on the judge? Is that something that, that a judge would look at? That is not testimony. Right. 
Yeah, for for sure. The 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 court is going to look at the veracity, overall veracity, uh, and the quality of the the new evidence. Uh, is this something that is truly new? I mean, keep in mind these arguments about Menudo and uh, members of the band being uh, sort of under the under the thumb of Jose for years. That that was information that they knew back at the time, back in the day. Leslie Abramson spoke uh, openly about those allegations. I've known you for a long time. You're a great criminal defense lawyer. When you have clients who have been incarcerated this long and you have a situation like this where, look, I mean, my feeling about it is it is so remote that anything would be overturned at this point given this information. Um, Does it help or hurt somebody who's incarcerated to give them what may just be false hope? My view is not that dissimilar to yours. I think it is remote. Uh, I think the issues are, are extremely collateral. I don't think they're necessarily tethered to the specific evidence that established that uh, both Lyle and Eric Menendez murdered their parents. Uh, I don't think that they have much of a, of a chance, but um, look, their lawyers are going to take every chance they possibly can. Uh, if it's a Hail Mary, they're going to take the snap and throw the ball. Uh, they, I, I don't think they have a choice. They have to zealously advocate for their clients. This is new evidence. It wasn't heretofore known. Um, and, and I think they have to put it before a judge. I think if they're smart, what they're going to do is sit down with Eric and Lyle and manage their expectations and explain to them in, in, in very unvarnished language, hey, look, this is a very, very difficult uh, road to hoe. Uh, we're probably not going to win, but we're going to take the shot. That makes sense, yeah. Hey, we so appreciate you giving us the time. That's uh, really, really interesting. Thank you, Alan. My pleasure. Nice to see you. Really All appreciate right. it. Good seeing you. Interesting. An, an interesting twist that is bizarre and, you, you know, who would have seen it coming, but doesn't seem like there's much. Yeah, I, I don't think so either.